Classic Rock Radio. Ja, liebe Leute, hallo zu Tag 2 von Rock am Ring. And today I am joined by Hannes from Royal Republic. Hi, it's so That's nice to meet correct. you. That's correct. Good to meet you. How are you? I'm good. How yeah? are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Rock in Park yesterday, so sort of a rough night, but I'm, I'm getting back in, in shape. <laughs> well, not really, but sort of. I can imagine because it wasn't just Rock and Park, it was also the release of your brand new album Love Cop yesterday. Exactly. So what was that like to get to play the new album or some songs from the new album live for the people at Rock and Park? Well, it's a hate kind of relationship when you do it for the first time because you're obviously very excited to play the new songs and we think they're kick-ass and they sound really good, but at the same time it's like you have this, you're, you know, we've been doing it for so long so that it's not like every time we get really nervous before walking up on stage but when you know you're about to perform something for the very first time and you're still in the like what well, was it there and i do this and then i do you know a lot of things going on up here uh but uh, very very good it turned out very well and uh, i'm looking forward to doing it again tonight we are looking forward to that too cool. um so was it hard for you guys to decide which songs of the new album to play for the people because people obviously have these expectations of the older fan favorites that yeah. they want to hear yeah yeah exactly yeah it was actually and especially when you're not playing like a 90 minute set where you set where you can basically fit everything in now you kind of have to boil it down to the essentials like what you just said like the songs that people actually want to hear <laughs> <laughs> and the songs that we want to play, which is not always the same thing, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, this time around, we we decided we wanted to play the singles because we like them and because people have had a chance to hear them. And then we're gonna put uh, something in there today as well that people might not have had the time to hear because the album was released yesterday. So, but it, it'll be good. <laughs> Hopefully, so fingers crossed. Did you also get a chance to celebrate the release yesterday? Not yesterday, there was not enough time for celebration. I mean, there's always a little celebration <laughs> for, for no particular reason at all. But uh, I think tonight, after the show, uh, there will be some sort of a release celebration going on, definitely. Yeah. That's cool. So did you also get to watch some of the artists who played their sets yesterday at Rock and Park? Uh, I some of us did. I was busy doing other stuff that I kind of had to sort out. Uh, but I know a lot of us went to the Green Day show. Obviously, I saw them a couple of years ago, which was great. I'm hoping to get a chance to see them tonight, actually, because it's always always a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that one too. Yeah. Um, and another band who's also playing today and played yesterday are the Donuts. Yes. And um, I feel like you guys gained some recognition in Germany when you first toured with them in yeah, 2010. Um, so do you also get to watch these uh, the sets of the Do Nuts and do you also like meet them and talk to them still or? Definitely, the uh, definitely. Like? We were just hanging out just a couple of minutes ago. They're still good friends of ours. We love them to death. And yes, they, I mean, we, we did get a some sort of a head start by touring with the do nots back in whatever it was a long time ago um uh, that was definitely it, it definitely kicked off our career in germany touring with the do nots and uh, still love them as human beings and as uh, as a band and if i had the opportunity i would go check it out without a doubt but the sad thing is that we're pretty much playing at the same time so um probably not gonna happen but i will have to watch it on youtube later um, so, talking about friendship and German friends, you are also friends with the German band Kraftklub. Yeah. Um, how did that friendship like came to be? And um, yeah, I've seen you've also performed uh, the song Eure Mädchen a couple of <laughs> times together. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, Kraftklub are playing tomorrow. Are you staying until tomorrow, maybe? <laughs> no, sadly enough, we're not staying till tomorrow. That would have been a lot of fun hooking up with those guys again. But no, we're leaving tomorrow. No, we're leaving tonight, actually. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, we, we sort of, uh, we, we ran into each other quite a few times since we're, we're basically playing the same sort of festivals and, you know, they're friends with the horse and we're friends with the horse and, you know, it's, it's like a small collective, like, oh. of stupid people just hanging around. So, uh, so we got to know him and, uh, and then Felix did, um, 
did a um, cameo on a Royal Republic show in Berlin and we, we really struggled to get this Eure Mädchen song down, especially the German part, the German lyrics and stuff. But I think we pulled it off quite well and that was a lot of fun and we appreciate him taking the time to do that. And then, uh, and then Adam was invited on stage singing Eure Mädchen again with Kraft Club like a year later on a festival. So uh, let's see, maybe it's an ongoing thing. Maybe we'll keep doing this. That would have been great. That would be great, yeah. So, um, yeah, you uh, said already pulling it off, pulling the German off. And I was I was quite, um, I, I thought that you, you guys did a really good job. And I was like, okay, do they speak German? And I was <laughs> like, okay, they don't speak German. So um, that was pretty cool. Yeah, but that's only half true because uh, I did, I think we all did uh, study German in school from 7th, 7th, 8th. That's a difficult word. Eighth it is. <laughs> and ninth grade. In Sweden, you have to pick a language <coughs> uh, besides Swed Swedish and English. And I went for German. So, you know, I understand most most of German-speaking people. I mean, we do have a German crew. We have a German management. We've been touring here for so long. A lot of German friends and stuff. So. I get most of it. I don't uh, speak very well, but I can definitely make myself understood in German. So, uh, but I mean, saying uh, "Guten Tag, wie geht's" is uh, quite a different thing from uh, from doing the, the the Kraft Club rap in German. It so it's still <laughs> sort of a tongue twister, obviously. Yeah. Okay. So back to your new album, Love Cop. What I'm uh, interested to know is, it took you five years for this new album to to put it out. But was it hard to like put something new out and write new songs after releasing the greatest power disco album, <laughs> Club <laughs> Majesty, five years ago? <laughs> well, thank you uh, for your kind words. It's always. Um, It's always difficult writing a Royal Republic album. We're very, we take our music very seriously. We know exactly what it is we want to do, but we never know how to get there. So we try like a million stuff. We might have an embryo for an idea, like a title or a riff. And then we do a, uh, we make a ballad out of it. And ah, that's not it. And then we do a, like a 80s rock version. Ah, that's not it. And then we do like a funk version, you know. And then we take all these detours. So it takes like months and months for us to finish a single song. Because we don't know how to get there. But once we get there, we all know that we have arrived at this spot, at this place. That is Royal Republic, which is very, very cool. I must say that, you know, we don't have to, we, a lot of times we don't even have to sit down and discuss it or talk about it. It's more like when we get there, we all know we have arrived and, and that's it. The song is finished and we move on to the next one. So it takes a lot of time, but it's, I mean, it's, it's totally worth it. So you've already said that you guys have this unique sound of 80s rock and 80s like sound influences um, and also obviously disco influences. Um, what do you guys think is so fascinating about the sound of the 80s that made you like take it and modernize it into nowadays? Mm. Well, I mean, we are children of the 80s, so to say. We were born in the 80s, so it's sort of in our DNA uh, from the very get-go. But also, what I like, um, what we like, I guess, uh, about the music, about the 80s in general, actually, fashion, music, art, you name it, was that people had the guts to, like, you know, push the envelope and take it further. And, you know, the, the, the big haircuts, and it was flashy, and it was lights, and it was bright, and it was all over the place, and, you know, The music was extreme in many ways uh, because it had it was pushed so far, and that so that goes pretty long goes along pretty well with what we do. Like we like taking something and then push it a little further than it might have been meant to be pushed, mm. and that's where we feel comfortable. That's so cool. Okay, so for my last question for this interview, I've seen that you guys are coming on tour and you are playing lots and lots of German shows. So can you tell us a little bit more about what makes your relationship to Germany so special and why you decided, okay, we uh, were basically gonna do a tour through whole of Germany. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
that specific decision is um, I don't we have that other people making those specific decisions but it sort of natural to us because of the fact that we were just talking about with you know how we started here we've built we'll be, we've been building this thing for 13 14 years in Germany and we feel very much at home here we have a we have a very loyal and awesome fan base that we love and hold very dear to our hearts uh, so it's so, so touring Germany is just the most natural thing for us to do actually so that's it Classic Rock Radio.